Today we are analyzing the Wiggle Transform modifier. We will look into its settings and use it to make a levitating astronaut, cool background and text animation. So, let's create a shape and press Add Wiggle Transform. There are five general settings and transform subsection with four additional settings. Let's start with it. Position defines the bodies of moving for vertical and horizontal. Scale could be changed proportionally or separately by removing the link icon and changing the vertical and horizontal parameters. Rotation works the same way. Anchor point moves the center point from which our parameters will be animated. It's clearly visible precisely on rotation. By default, it is the center of our shape. If we change anchor point, we can see that the center has shifted. And now back to general settings. They are in charge for animation. Wiggle second is the speed, so the larger the value, the faster. This parameter can be animated with toggle hold keyframe only, so the animation will be abrupt. Correlation is responsible for randomizing of duplicated objects. You can see it if you duplicate the shape with repeater. Watch it on 0% and now on 100. You can also have fun with temporal and spatial face to add animation. It will be smooth there. Random seed switches the frames within the transform parameters we set. If you animate this parameter, you can create a pasteurized effect. To do this, you should also set wiggle second to zero. So, what can we do with this modifier? The most commonplace thing I can imagine is to make a levitating astronaut. To do this, change the values of position, rotation and scale at will. Also, with repeater we can create a cool background. We duplicate the circle and change the position, rotation and scale parameters as well. Watch it with correlation on 100. And now let's watch it on 0. I immediately wanted to add packet and blood here. Also, we can animate position. Voila, gadgets. And if we transfer text to shape layer, we can create several options of text animation by adding keyframes to parameters. I hope this overview was helpful. Thanks for following and your likes. See ya!